Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome to another five minute card video here on my YouTube channel. This is the card I'm making today and it is a shaker, which is one of my faves. And it is made gorgeous by this new oval foliage die set from Trinity Stamps. There are three pieces here. I'm gonna die cut the leafy detailed piece from some white cardstock. You can see that it cuts out each individual like piece of the leaf leaving like a skeleton of the leaf there's a die you can use to cut out the center of this piece if you like which i'm doing so i can turn this into a shaker <laughs> then i am using the largest die and die cutting out a green mat to put this frame on but i also want it to have the same opening in the center that my frame does i'm using some temporary adhesive to stick that down and then i can trace the center of this and die cut the center out so it matches my frame pretty easy and then I will have a piece that will create a beautiful frame for my shaker card and shaker cards by the way are one of my favorites to make I just think it's so fun to have an interactive element in your card and it makes a really cool sound and you can use super pretty embellishments so shaker cards are my favorite how about you if you love making shaker cards let me know in the comments below or if you've never made a shaker card I would love to know that too all right, I cut a window sheet down so it was an oval that would fit behind my window, glued that in place, and I'm now going to round it with some foam tape, which is crucial for making a shaker card. This is some already um, thick foam tape from Heffy Doodle, and I just was able to go around that opening easily by bending it. Then I added some shaker bits that I had on hand. They were like a free gift with a purchase. And so I'm excited I finally got to use them. I also added some white seed beads to that. I think they're clear actually. And listen to that shaker, it's awesome. All right, I'm gonna make a card to put my shaker on. This is some green polka dot pattern paper. I have left over from a kit I got last summer and I thought it was really pretty with my shaker bits. Next, I brought in the pretty wonderful stamp set, also new from Trinity, and added a sentiment from that to my shaker window. Now we're gonna dress it up with the Summer Blooms stamp set. This is my favorite floral stamp set at the moment. I love the bold images that are playful and um, not too realistic, uh, but uh, realistic enough. Like it's it's the perfect style to make something cute or even dress it up and make something elegant. I've used this stamp before to create backgrounds for some elegant wedding cards. So it's a really versatile stamp set. I am coloring my flower up with R21 and R20. R21 being my darkest color that I put down first. Then I went in with my R20 and then I come back in and add more shadow again with the R20. Now for my leaves, I'm only using one marker. That's the G12 marker. And I am doing one leaf with multiple layers of ink and the other side with only one. And you can see the contrast that that gives you. And it's a really good way if you don't have other markers to blend with to get some color variation. So now it's time to die cut out all the things and get them ready to go on the card. Here you can see my die cut pieces. And now it's time to add them. So this one gets a mix of foam squares and glue, so it's really gonna adhere nicely to that bottom left corner. And then on the other corner, we'll put the other flowers. And I just, I like um, how this helps frame the shaker and draw your eye into the center. It's so pretty and I love the colors. Okay, now it is time for the Summer Mix gemstones or rhinestones. These have a mix of like pink and yellow and purple and blue and clear, I believe, are all the colors in this mix. It went really well with the shaker elements that I chose. So of course I had to bling it up because that's the way I like it. <laughs> and here you can see a close up of the card and listen to that shaker. I love it. So thank you for stopping by for this five minute video. I love sharing just some quick videos with you on what I've been making with some of my new things. This is again, new from Trinity Stamps. I'll put links to all the things in the description box for you below. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe and say hi to me. I have new paper crafting videos for you all the time and I will see you very soon on the next video. Happy stamping. Bye.